Egg Week TV Soy Insight, brought to you by the North Dakota Soybean Council. Newly released data continues to show soybean production has increased significantly in North Dakota over the past 40 years. In this month's Soy Insight, Rose Dunn looks at what's driving that growth and what it means to growers and the state. Uh, North Dakota is very traditionally in the top five in terms of acreage of soybeans. The new soybean quality report shows the state currently ranks number four in national soybean acreage with three Red River Valley counties topping the list of growers in the nation. Jenna Beertness is the North Dakota Soybean Council's Director of Market Development. It's her job to promote the state's crop to buyers around the world. For the fourth year in a row, soybeans are the state's highest dollar value crop, bringing in $2.7 billion in 2023. We've actually seen a 60 times increase in production from 1980 to now, over 60 times. And so it's really this Cinderella story of, you know, soybeans are a relatively new crop over time in North Dakota, and they've just boomed to where we, we are year after year a soybean leader in the U.S. Part of that increase is due to new varieties that grow well in this climate, and part of it is meeting growing demand. North Dakota soybeans have traditionally been exported for livestock feed, but in the future, the majority of the crop will likely be used for making renewable diesel. That's fueled in large part by a new crush plant near Jamestown and another one at Castleton going online soon. So I think we're only going to see that demand increase in North Dakota if we start to see these crush plants come online uh, and be used more within state. Although most soybeans are crushed for oil to be made into renewable diesel, the byproduct meal is sold for livestock feed. North Dakota soybeans are also high in essential amino acids, which is good for livestock. Beertness says demand for soybeans will stay strong as long as demand for their oil remains high. The shift from meal to oil is not just happening in North Dakota, it's happening all over the U.S. and it's being driven by a combination of federal and state policies in addition to just consumer demand. In Fargo, this is Rose Dunn for Ag Week. If you'd like to see the data and the soybean quality report, you can find it at ndsoybean.org under production and exports. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.